come to cloud security, right? We have a dedicated service available for uh, security itself. AWS Identity and Access Management, AWS Guard Duty, AWS Messi, Amazon Messi, AWS Config, AWS Cloud Trail, AWS has Security Hub, AWS has Amazon Inspector, AWS has Secret Manager. Close to eight important security aspects are there when come to AWS. Close to eight important aspects are there in AWS. Yeah, the basic stuff that uh, security group I'll product my easy dimensions ACL I'll product my easy dimension that's all fine however those are going to be a very basic stuff okay so we'll discuss some little advanced thing about AWS infrastructure security you are all talking about the resource level security my question is all about how your entire platform you're going to secure I never asked you about resource level security can you tell me how to secure your easy dimension that way if you are telling uh, your security group, ACL, uh, those are fine, acceptable. But uh, when you come to an entire platform level security, entire infrastructure level security, as a cloud architect, you need to think about the entire infrastructure, not a specific resource. So on that aspect, right, we have a, a close to seven to eight different uh, security tools are there. Let me give a brief about all these tools. Okay, fine. So first, We'll talk about the first one. Let me take my pen. When come to identity and access management, right? This is a fundamental and core security. When any of the people coming to cloud, right? This is the first uh, uh, platform where I can uh, ensure my security. Where I can ensure my security. Okay. Why I'm telling like that? In the uh, IAM only, I can define my authentication, I can define my authorization, I can define my policies, who can access what, I can limit my access as a permission boundary, I can ensure to provide a proper uh, uh, security aspect or MFA, enabling MFA, denying people supposed to not use root account. All these are very important factors in the uh, security aspect, okay, IAM. Coming to Amazon Guard Duty, I told you already, Amazon Guard Duty is the uh, machine learning based automatic anomaly detection. Machine learning based automatic anomaly detection. It will automatically go ahead. It is monitoring my uh, Route 53 uh, logs and the VPC flow log, load balancers flow log and the cloud trial log, uh, those kind of logs, even files, everything it monitors automatically. Uh, so we don't enabling cloud uh, guard duty is very simple. We can simply go ahead. We can enable it in the account. It has inbuilt uh, finding mechanism. Uh, it will automatically go and refer all those things. It will automatically pop up with the findings. What is the issue? Uh, where the security is logging? Uh, by the help of referring all these things, uh, with the help of machine learning uh, detection, it will automatically pop up the uh, security breaches, whichever comes in the uh, guard duty, Amazon uh, guard duty. So another one is Amazon machine. So the reason service actually, uh, this is mostly in environment people are uh, not using because this is related to data science. Okay, if people, anybody working in big data, data science, data oriented, the machine is the service purely designed for monitoring my data related service. So if you take IAM, authentication authorization perspective, it's, it's ensuring the security. When you take a guard duty, right? It is ensuring security for cloud trial and route 53 and those area it is ensuring a security if you could see data related nobody is providing any sort of security so this is a data science related service very important actually mm -hmm. many of them not even know about this amazon machine so all your data whatever storing in your environment uh, so this will help you to give a better production when come to data science and data analytics and all. aws config, config is the another service when you come to AWS config, this is an option to enable mission. So it will start monitor our entire resources automatically in the AWS. Whatever the condition we have configured in the AWS config, right? It will act accordingly. Okay, AWS config is the nowadays commonly using in every platform. AWS config is the service. When you are going into the AWS config, we have all the uh, items in place. We have all the mechanism in place. Uh, we can enable it, uh, so and so thing. For example, hey, uh, detect if somebody log in using root account. 
near of this config I can tell hey detect if any of the EC2 instance has unencrypted volume. Hey, detect any of the security group publicly globally exposed. Okay, hey, detect any of the AGL has been recently modified. Hey, detect any of the uh, VPC which has uh, public IP or elastic IP. So that kind of right base level. You guys are uh, thinking in chat, right? Yes, security group, ACL, VPC. Those are basic. Those can be configured in the uh, AWS config. When it is identify so and so item, right? It will notify us. Sometimes it is go beyond. It is automatically fixing that also. So anybody opening security group or ACL 000 globally, it will automatically correct it back to your uh, environment uh, basis item also. It's automatically doing. That kind of configuration, monitoring each and every resources that has been taken care of in AWS config. Very important. Very, very important. As a cloud architect to know, AWS config is very important. And the learning also very simple. Okay. AWS cloud trial, you know, is it? Uh, we have by default 90 days of log available. But important factor, the reason why I mentioned here, beyond the 90 days of log, right? We have to store uh, another 90 more days of log in the S3 bucket. That is a recommended one. Okay, if anybody unauthorized access, if anybody deleted the resource, any kind of event, uh, if we need more than 90 days, good to enable in the cloud trial. Okay, security hub is something similar way. It is monitoring all your uh, uh, network related thing, automatically detecting all this thing. Security hub is working in such a way, master account, member account concept. Uh, even guard duty also sometimes works in the same way, but uh, specific to uh, security hub this is the location where all the detection all the other uh, uh, network related security stuff ex publicly exposed uh, items okay all the uh, guard duty detection even guard duty detect something everything right we can bring all of them into my security hub i can process it automatically for example if guard duty detected uh, many of the people right unnecessarily accessing they are trying to hack my load balancer so the many of the unnecessary request comes into my network if anything detected by guard duty, security fix will give us fix for that. It will block that for the time being. If any many requests come from the same IP address, which is you know, not a casual IP, which is uh, an, an, a suspicious uh, IP, a very danger uh, source. In that case, guard, uh, guard security of right will ensure to give an automatic uh, solution to that to fix uh, block that IP. Kind of fix can be done it in the uh, security hub. Amazon inspector, right? Instance level, uh, uh, this one, I mean, they are using Qualys and all right to check the vulnerability. Is there any vulnerability on the application packages what they are using? Is there any uh, vulnerability on the instance level uh, they are using? OS level, any uh, CAS uh, uh, things or anything to be done, right? Amazon inspector will scan my operating system and my application data package, whatever in short. It will suggest me, is there any loophole? Is there any infected items are there, right? It will update me to go with the latest one. That is something called Amazon Inspector. We have a security uh, secret manager. We can store some credential for either internally in AWS or externally somewhere. It will provide us. Uh, we don't want to keep our environment, some security keys, some key pair, or some username and password. If you have an organization, obviously you will have some certain confidential item, right? Those can be configured with the secret manager. This will give you your organization uh, security. So ideally, coming to AWS security, right? Of course, I agree. Uh, security group, ACL, VPC, uh, MFA, uh, all those things are very much important. Those are resource perspective. When somebody asking you on the entire AWS infrastructure perspective, right? We have to be in the position to ensure the higher uh, policy level, permission boundary, restriction on the IAM level. And second thing, we have to mandatory enable the guard duty because guard duty is a machine learning based uh, anomaly detection uh, application service. It is automatically going through the Route 53 log, uh, VPC flow log, and the main logs, and it is automatically detecting the identification. Once it's detected, right, the cloud, uh, security hub is another one uh, where I can have a one master account security hub. All member account security hub data will be coming over here. That can be possible. I mean, Okay, we'll have a database account like that. This is my RDM security of master account. 
Okay, remaining all can be blocked in the way of member account. Remaining account, right? Other AWS account in here now. This may be another prod account. This may be another dev account. This may be another different account. Okay, something like that. So what will happen? Uh, we can analyze all these accounts. If any detection comes right, it will report to this security of master account. So here, from here, we can apply some fixes. If you want, really, we can do it. Or centrally, we can manage it. Or from here, right, we can put it in the S3 bucket. We can give it to log analytics too. That also possible. Okay, that also possible. It's up to our requirement only. So, but when you go to the environment, this is how the configuration should be. So guard duty will be analyzing all these things. This is one of the input. Security will be finding the fixes for that particular services. AWS inspector, right? Nobody mentioned inspector on the chat. You can see. When you come to the environment, each and every server level vulnerability also matters. Okay, when after trying to come in through the vulnerability zone, if any loop code is available, we search for all the possibilities. When actors are coming into my environment, we'll have to ensure the environment is properly scanned. All my operating systems are up to date, all the security patches, all these uh, items to be implemented in the server level. Only ensuring security group and uh, ACL will not fulfill our instance level security. Keep in mind the kind of uh, qualis tool is available, AWS product inbuilt tool in the inspector. These are the tools also playing a major role when it comes to security on the instances level. So inspector will give you a security to our entire account level instance. Even if you have 100 instances, 200 instances, it will give you the report kind of thing. Secret manager is the basic. So this is the entire uh, aspect, guys, when it comes to the uh, uh, cloud security. As a cloud architect, you need to have the clear understanding on all the, all the points. And you need to have the uh, reference. Okay, these are the security items are available in AWS. Okay, apart from that, I missed the one thing. Can anyone try to answer it? AWS organization level security. One service I missed that out. Can anyone answer what it is? Shield. Okay, we can say shield. That is optional. If you have an application, you wanted to product it, you can product it. These are mandatory. Anyway, shield is fine. Good answer. Any other apart from the shield? CloudWatch is not a security service. WAF. CloudWatch, okay. What else? One aspect, many main thing we cannot avoid in the environment. Trust, okay. Trust advisor, I think he's talking about. Another one, security. For, for applying my organization standard, certificate manager, okay. IAM, IAM is there. Okay, applying my organization standard, SCP, yeah, very good. SCP is the correct answer. So apart from that, to fulfill all the requirement, right, the centrally will be managing our SCP. When I have an AWS organization account, we will be applying the SCP. So SCP will make sure the options, which are the things you can perform at, which are the things you cannot perform at. Entire account level, individual resource level, will have an option to deny it. Hey, when come to security tool, will identify only when it happened. Even even I I told you right. Uh, you take a look at one second. If you take a look at Amazon Guard Duty or Security Hub or Inspector, whatever, the difference between SCP and other tools, right? They can be addressed and identified when the security breaches happened in my environment. If continuously on an unauthorized person trying to access my environment, yeah, of course, Guard Duty or Security Hub or somebody trying to notify me. But SCP is the person will deny you. It is beyond the security threshold. This is beyond, this will limit you. You're supposed to not do any activity with the root. Can be possible in SCP. You cannot uh, create public bucket in S3. That can be denied using SCP. You cannot create a bucket or volume or whatever without encryption. That can be denied in uh, SCP. The difference between other services and SCP is this will deny you. That will not permit you to proceed further. Later, we'll address it, all these things. That is not possible here. This is totally denying you. That way, right, SCP is very much crucial. That is what I not listed in the list section. Can anyone tell me in the chat, uh, all, all out of all these security services, how many of you, you are applying in your environment and how many of you, you are having idea? 
so far before attending this session how many of this uh, one two three only nine item i have approached here out of nine mandatory item how many of you guys are aware how many of them applied in your environment and people are telling three four five three mostly two to three eight are applied three. okay When you go to the perfect uh, environment, right? That should be item. Okay, Mani are asking about SCP. We'll discuss about it. I'll answer all your questions. Okay, fine. So coming to this point, hmm? coming to this point, the major uh, thing is the trusted advisor is uh, we are going to discuss about upcoming flights. Uh, it is there. Building optimization, that point. We, we cannot say that is a security tool for entire infrastructure. Performance based, cost optimization based, we can use it. Uh, it's it's not relevant here so we'll discuss about section seven fine guys so coming over here these are the security rules it's very much important see that is the difference you know most of them are a cloud expert only here some items are we already knows it this is very important but we are exactly not sure what are the things of the cloud architect perspective what are the things we should have so these are the components we have to have hmm? 